So Sony is finding some success after their state of play reveal. I mean, obviously, a lot of those games are coming to the Xbox as well. But uh, at the end of the day, I feel like Sony has quite a lot of things going on. And there's just not a lot of competition for, for, for Sony right now. So when we're sitting here uh, looking at how things have kind of changed and how things can kind of uh, end up in a, a better situation for PlayStation themselves, uh, I find this to be a pretty interesting topic, to say the least. And you know what? I, 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 this is something definitely worthwhile of a video. I'm sure you guys are going to find it pretty interesting as well. Uh, so anyway, join me as I ride out this hurricane here in Florida uh, for another video. What's up, everybody? Crap Gamer with Crap Gamer Reviews. Back with yet another fun and informative video. Thanks for taking time out to check it out. Like, share, subscribe. I would appreciate that. It really helps out the channel. It means a lot to me. Uh, you know, you guys are pretty fantastic. So thank you. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of today's video. Uh, again, you know, PlayStation is, like I said, they're doing some their own type of thing. Uh, it's People are kind of taking one way or the other from it. There's just not a whole lot of competition. So uh, Microsoft isn't really offering much resistance, uh, you know, and even though the PlayStation 5 Pro is a little bit on the costly side, you know, people are kind of dying down on that whole uh, front of it being like just so costly that nobody can ever afford it and things like that uh, I don't really think it's indicative of what next generation price points are going to be either by the way Because I've seen some people talk about that like oh man What's this going to mean for next generation is you know, we're going to get like eight hundred dollar consoles No, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think uh, Usually when we get the new generation of stuff, it's it's stuff that's not totally cutting edge most of the time uh, you know and so the prices have already kind of been where they need to be or or, or something along those lines so this is interesting because um, developers are kind of talking about you know the ps5 pro and how they're enhancing games we're starting to see stuff and exactly how this is going to be um, working out and they've listed this whole big blog with um, you know, performance capable, but with all these developers are talking about and how they're utilizing what they're doing to make the PlayStation 5 Pro the best place to play their games. So again, there's so many games out there that are, are doing so many different things. I'm just going to kind of give a rundown and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So Gran Turismo 7, for instance, has PSSR improved 4K ray tracing enabled in racing and its support for 8K 60 frames per second, like the Horizon game visual quality uh, that matches and surpasses quality mode in Forbidden West at 60 frames, improvements to shadows, depth of field, skin, and shaders, range of improvements to Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered. Um, you know, it doesn't end there. There's just so much kind of going on. The Last of Us 2, PSSR for improved 4K 60, Spider-Man, as well as Ratchet and Clank, uh, Rift Apart, Spider-Man Remastered, Miles Morales, and Spider-Man 2 will all offer performance mode 4K plus ray tracing, features of fidelity mode as well as 60 frames hogwarts legacy improved iq through pssr and all visual modes new ray tracing features reflection shadows all that kind of good stuff uh dragon's dogma 2 better frame rates improved resolution new ray tracing features resident evil village new 120 frames uh, performance mode improved resolution with pssr resident evil 4 improved resolution with PSSR and higher frame rate, Dragon Age of Velgard, improved resolutions and visuals in both performance and fidelity modes, um, 60 frames per second performance mode on the Pro, Jedi Survivor quality mode at 4K, performance mode locked at 60 with ray trace reflections and AO, improved resolutions with PSSR, Rise of the Ronin, better frame rates, improved resolution with PSSR, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, better frame rates, improved resolution with PSSR, Alan Wake 2, improved IQ with PSSR to 4K output at 60 frames, uh, Stellar Blade, improved IQ with PSSR to 4K output at 50 frames, high frame rate options, 80 frames per second with 120 hertz uh, TV, which is required for that to work, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, PSSR for improved 4K that matches quality mode at 60 frames, uh, the crew 
through Motorfest, uh, improved IQ with PSSR to 4K output at 60 frames, better details at longer distances, uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows, PSSR for improved 4K, enhanced RTGI, plus more. So I'm going to link all this. It's a lot to sort of uh, take in. I understand that, you know, like the technical aspects and things like that. But what's really interesting is the way that Sony is kind of handling um, all of this stuff, right? Like, I don't know, like, uh, I, I think I really miss the, like, live audience approach that Sony used to take because I think, like, this stuff is great and it's good and all that kind of stuff. But, like, the way that you have, like, Mark Cerny talk uh, doing his little spiel or whatever is kind of boring. And then, like, the compressions and stuff that they use is not a good way to showcase... Um, what you can do in the future. And I think that really kind of hurt some of the perceptions for the PS5 Pro. And, you know, not only did it uh, hurt perceptions, but I think overall uh, people kind of look at things and they go, okay, well, what can we do to sort of change the aspect and, and change the, the way that people look at us? Um, because, you know what, guess what? People are going to start to definitely uh, question uh, what we're doing as a company and say why should we spend 700 bucks on this thing right and and that's i think the big problem um that we're kind of seeing going forward is that there's so many people that are, are just asking like well what can we do to to you know why sell us on this platform you know and to be clear I kind of look at this and I say, okay, I agree with that. Like, how can you sell me on a $700 uh, platform if, you know, you're not offering something that hasn't really been done before or, you know, offering something that um, we really need uh, as, as fans, you know? And it has to be something that maybe that we can really notice because I feel like that's something that we miss out on a lot like like they haven't done a good job of of you know just helping the fans have something that just it, it just blows us away and that's super unfortunate because you know i i feel like microsoft uh does that too and then when you look at sony um they kind of have this this situation where you know we're, we're gamers and we're all just kind of trying to to figure out where to spend our money best you know and 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 i think you know the, the people that are even playstation fans are you see some of them kind of question this stuff but i do like that developers are kind of answering some questions and saying exactly what they're going to be offering um to me again i mean it sounds cool a lot of this stuff does sound cool but at the same point in time uh you're, you're kind of looking at it and going well yeah that sounds okay i, I get it you know it, it, it sounds pretty good but uh, there hasn't really been anything this generation in my opinion anyway that absolutely blows me away to the point where i'm like oh my god let me spend another 700 dollars <laughs> to experience this right like i think that is um a big issue uh going forward you know we just as as gamers we have not been giving that huge thing that makes us go oh wow yeah that's that's definitely something or other you know what i mean like that's that to me is is probably the biggest issue um you know going forward and, and i hope that you know sony can do a little bit better job in the future of kind of relaying the reasons to actually buy these things um until that point uh i think we're gonna just there's gonna be a lot of people that question what sony's doing and, and rightfully so like you're kind of foolish to not question anything a company does like these are you know billion and in some cases uh, trillion dollar companies or whatever and you know when you look at things and you go okay well why are, why is this the way it is or whatever I, I think that that's where some of this stuff comes into play um, you know so I, I can definitely see why fans are a little bit skeptical of this but I also think that you know Sony is starting to wake up a little bit and um, and, and realize that people need uh, the show me stuff you know so hopefully um hopefully that's what they can do in the future you know i, I would love to see um, what happens with that but anyway uh, like i said I, I would love to hear you guys thoughts and opinions on this what do you guys think is this a little too late for you in terms of are you your interest in the pro because i feel like you know many of us are interested in the pro but maybe we didn't get enough 
uh, to to want a warrant and 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 down payment for these things or you know um, get this platform given what we know so far. Like I don't know. Like for me, it sounds interesting. Uh, I like seeing. Uh, the new stuff come up and things like that, but you guys might feel differently. So let me know what you think. Uh, please like, subscribe, and all that kind of good stuff. I would appreciate it. Rack them up, fact them up, crap gamer them up. I'll catch you next time. Crap gamer, out. <laughs>